Hey, I've been thinking about you. All the things that we could do. If you let me... What's going on, guys? It's your boy Scrub here, back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I know I am. And uh, if you are, be sure to press the like button. Otherwise, no joke, no scam at all. You will be conscripted to serve as a serf to the King of England when he inevitably takes over after the Queen croaks. And he brings back the serfdom and he will say, come back and be a peasant in England and you're gonna have to do it unless you press the like button because me and the new king are gonna be tight. Real talk though guys, it's been a long time since I've made a video, I've really been missing it, the office is all together, I've got everything set up now so I actually can again. So uh, videos should be back, I'm sorry they've been gone, I've really been letting down the whole squad, but today I've got a story time for you guys that took place while I was moving, because if everything went smoothly it just wouldn't be my life, you know, like if everything went according to plan that would just be way too convenient. So, uh, first things first, you know, I didn't have water and internet for a couple days, but, like, it is what it is, that's not a big deal. So, this is actually, this story takes place, like, the first normal day I've been in my house. So, there's this trail that's, like, by my new house that I hadn't been on yet, and so, uh, I grabbed my skateboard one morning at, like, 7 a.m., because I was up early, and I'm like, well... It's not too hot yet because it's starting to be summer in Vegas, so I'm just going to go out on this trail and, like, explore it and see what's up. You know, see how far it goes, see where it goes, all that good stuff. I hadn't done any of that yet, so, uh, I, I hop on my skateboard and I start, like, skating down the street towards this trailhead. And I get on the trail, and it's, like, this one trail between all these houses, but there's tons of houses all over the place, like... You know, if I run into somebody on this trail, they could be my neighbor, but they could also live in any of, like, the hundreds of other houses, so it's not like I'm actually gonna know anybody out here, so I'm skating, and it's pretty early in the morning, so I'm the only person for a while, and as I'm coming around the corner, I hear some people, so I slow down, so that way, like, you know, I don't fly around the corner and hit anyone, and as I come around the corner, it's this guy and his girlfriend and their dog that's not on a leash, and, like, you know, I'm pretty good with dogs, I have dogs, you know how it is, um, they're on my Instagram, which is at Scrubby, by the way. They're two cute little beagles. But I see this dog, and, you know, I, I'm not bad with dogs. I'm usually pretty good with dogs, so I don't think anything, and I start skating. And, like, the people look at me, and they look away, and, like, they give me a dirty look. And then, like, one lady grabs the dog's, like, collar, right? And they're like, oh, do you have to be out this early? Which is, like, a really weird question to ask someone you don't know. And so I'm kind of like, oh, these people aren't very friendly, but whatever, and I'm like, sorry, you know, and they're like, whatever, and as I'm getting past the dog, it, like, pulls, and the girl's hand lets go, and you know that vine where it's like, oh, he don't bite, and it's like, oh, yeah, he do, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about? So I get bit, and I'm like, ow, that really hurt, and I just keep skating, my adrenaline's pumping, and you know, the people are mad, they like, pull their dog back, and so I just keep going, because I'm like, look, these people aren't friendly, I'm really not trying to cause problems and have drama, I'm out, so... I keep skating, and so, like, I get maybe around another corner, like, to the point where I can't see him anymore, and I'm like, wow, my leg really hurts, and I look, and there is blood, like, down my leg, I kind of got bit on, like, the back of the thigh, like, on, kind of, like, in the midsection of my thigh, I'm not gonna lie, if the dog was trying to eat my thigh, that would have been a really meaty section to bite, you know what I'm saying, like, Homeboy Loki might have been trying to eat me. And just to describe what this dog looked like, because I haven't yet, you know that scene in the Sandlot where, like, the dog is gigantic and it looks like it could eat a small child in one bite? Yeah, it was one of those dogs. And, like, I'm really not afraid of dogs, you know? I I'm really not. But this was a big dog. And when this thing bit me, I don't know why I expected to, like, not be bleeding, you know? But... For whatever reason, I just thought I was going to be cool. So I look down and I just see like blood going down the back of my thigh and like pooling in my sock. And I'm like, well, that's not good. I've been bitten by a dog before. I, I can't remember if I told the story on this channel or not. So I knew that I had to find out if the dog had gotten its shots. Because like, if not, then I was going to have to go to the hospital and like get a rabies shot, you know, which would not have been fun with like COVID going on, obviously, because hospitals are just not not a vibe to be in right now I've got a feeling like I don't know I haven't been in a hospital but I feel like during a global pandemic is just like not a good time to start going to the hospital you know it's just not it's like the good time to start going to the gym is not January 1st you just got to pick a different time because everyone and their mom is doing a new year's resolution so uh 
I just compared like going to the hospital to a New Year resolution. I guess you really don't have a choice on when you go to the hospital. Like you don't get you don't get to pick when a dog gives you rabies or whatever. So I hope I don't have rabies. So I turn around and I start skating. I'm like, crap, I got to find those people and find out if their dog has rabies or not because there's no cure for it. So if I do, GG boys, it's been nice telling stories. So I pull up on these people, right? I'm like, hey, excuse me, when your dog bit me, it broke the skin. Like, does it have its shots? And the lady looks at me. She goes, my dog didn't bite you. And I'm like, yeah, he did. She's like, no, he didn't. I pulled him away before he bit you. So I pull up my leg, which has a bite mark now in the back of my thigh leaking. But I'm like, look, he bit me. I'm not mad. I just need to know if, like, I need to go get a shot. And she looks me in the eyes and says, he didn't bite you. You did that to yourself so you could sue us. Yep. That's me. I skated around the corner and decided to make myself bleed with a fake bite mark from another dog just to come back and skate by you and pretend that your dog did it so I could sue you. That's my criminal mastermind. That That's how I got this house, pretending to get bit by dogs. Like, what? So I'm like, no, your dog bit me. I'm not mad. I don't want to sue you. Does your dog have shots? And they're like, it's none of your business if my dog has shots, which... I mean, might be true if I don't know your dog, but when your dog attaches its teeth to my leg, it kind of becomes my business, lady. I'm sorry. So I'm kind of like, look, does he have its shots? And there, you know, I don't have to tell you anything. Like, you're not a cop, blah, 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 blah. And I, I don't understand why they're so mad. Like, your dog bit me. Why are you mad at me because your dog bit me? How is that my fault? Sorry. Sorry that my thighs are appetizing. I guess I'm just such a juicy snack that your stupid Scooby-Doo couldn't stay away. I I'm sorry. It's not the dog's fault, okay? I just want to clarify, like, okay, you know what? Actually, no, I'm not going to say that. The, the dog bit me. The dog's kind of but, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not saying it's all the dog's fault because its owners suck, too. And so, finally, after, like, arguing with them for 10 minutes, they're like, yes, our dog has shots. Is that what you wanted to hear? And now I'm like, okay, I don't believe you. You know, now you might just be telling this, and like, can I see them? And they're like, oh, fine. So they start walking to their house, and the entire time, they're talking like trash about me really loudly while I'm walking right next to them. They're not trying to hide it, like... I'm literally walking with them in there. Can you believe people are so inconsiderate? Like, dude, your dog's not on a leash on a trail. I'm sorry that I skateboarded by it. Like, I, I, I really don't know how that's inconsiderate. But, you know, they're talking trash when we're walking. They get to the house, and the lady is like, I'm going to go find it. And, you know, she walks in, and the husband's like, did you really have to ruin our morning by doing all this? And, you know, I'm, I'm still being nice. And at this point, I lose it. And I look at the guy, and I'm like, your dog bit me, dude. I don't know why it ruins my morning that your dog can't behave. And he's like, oh, my dog can't behave? Do you have any idea how loud your skateboard is? If your dog can't, like, not bite me when I'm skateboarding by because it's loud, then, then screw, like, go, oh, I almost said a naughty word. Oh, no, 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 go screw yourself, all right? But, like, it's just ridiculous. I can't help that my skateboard is loud, all right? I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry that wheels on pavement has a noise to it. If I could make it silent, I would. I'm not a giant fan of noises either. So thankfully, you know, his girlfriend, wife, whatever the hell, comes back out and gets this paperwork and it says that the dog has its rabies shots or whatever. I'm like, thank you. And they're like, uh-huh, and like rip the paper back out of my hands and like go inside and storm off. So I go back home and I'm like cleaning, you know, my, my, my wound on the back of my thigh that's still bleeding. And I'm like, damn, this really sucks. And, uh. At the time, I, I, like, finally had just gotten internet, you know, and I'm, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go record. So I go into my setup, and uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> putting this desk together, except I didn't have my desk yet. My desk hadn't shipped, so I'm putting everything on, like, a plastic folding table, right? And I'm putting it on, and I get everything put on the plastic folding table, and I recorded that Dreams 3 video, the last video that I've uploaded, and it's rendering, and after it renders and whatnot, I get up, and I'm in the kitchen, like, making some food, because uh, the video had been uploaded, and I hear this noise, and I come back in, and my folding table's broken. Thankfully, like, none of my monitors broke, but the desk that I was working on broke, so, like, I had to wait for a new desk to come in to make it, so I'm sorry there's been no videos, but, uh... You know, I got bit by a dog, so that's cool, and my neighbors, or not my neighbors, they, they don't live close to me, they live in, like, another development. We're very rude about it, dude. I don't know what to do about the fact that your dog bit me. I'm sorry. I wish he wouldn't have to. Uh, honestly, this Minecraft gameplay is probably really boring. I'm sorry. that I just needed something to finish the video, but, uh, yeah, on that note, guys, video should be coming back soon. Please don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot. You should check out the merch. I haven't taken down the tie-dye stuff yet just because I've been so busy 
with the uh, moving and stuff, so it will be going down soon. I am gonna leave it up, I guess, just till the end of the month, cause you know, I, I'm, I, I, yeah, this month has not not been going according to plan. But um, yeah, if you want to cop that, you should. And uh, on that note, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. Follow me on Instagram at Scrubby, Twitter at Scrubby underscore sixty nine. And if you turn on notifications, send a screenshot to my Instagram, you might get a shout out. Today's notification shout out goes to. Retix Burstal, one big thank you for having on notifications, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys all tomorrow with another video. Thank you so much, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, then your cat actually might get eaten, and if you like the intro song, I'll put a link down below, go listen to it, and I'm out. Peace.